who fell for my tricks went down my little playhouse of all sorts of trickery <laughs> this seems like your own fault actually but you're here now and now you're stuck with me hi Mr. J pleasure to meet you <laughs> you see, well, I traveled here, actually. Yes, travel. You wouldn't believe the expenses I had to pay. But, uh, I'm here now. I was doing a little job. Yes, a little, a little, just a little job. Trying to rob a bank in, uh, Europe. But, they said they had better stuff around here. So, here I am. What, you seem scared. Something, something, something uneasy for you. Tell me, please. I would love to know what's making you uneasy around me. Hmm? Is it the scars? It's the scars. It's the scars. Okay. I know. The scars are a little... flashy, in my opinion. I didn't want them. I didn't want them at all. You want to know how I got the scars? You see, when my father... When he was alive, he he wasn't very stable. You see, he was a drinker, and he liked to get drunk with his buddies a lot. But one time where their buddies went home early because some wife business or whatever, he got angry and just drank by himself that whole night. And then he got angry at my mom. And then he went hysterical. And he looked at my mother in her face and said, Why are you so serious? And then my mom, she ran away terrified. She went to get the keys uh, for the car to drive away. And left me with the father, the drunk one. And then he pulled out his uh, pocket knife. I actually saved it here. A beauty little thing, isn't it? It's very, very useful, very sharp, really. He pulled this out on me because I was sad. And you know what he said to me? Oh, let's put a smile on that face. And then he put the blade inside of my mouth. Cheek to cheek. He gave me a permanent smile. And now even when I'm at the my lowest of lows, I'm always happy. You get it now. I don't care. I'm not anyone else's happiness but myself. And so, 
I'm here to do more devious things than just rob banks. I want to kill. <laughs> it's the perfect plan, yes. I'm going to kill a lot of people. I'm only telling you because, well, you're not going to tell anyone. After all, I have associates that will deal with you later. In life, really. I'll let you go scot-free after I'm done talking with you. I just wanted to introduce myself a little bit more. You see, I have a friend here. He can make a very good sprite and knock people out. And, well, he used it against you. And we're just going to do it again. After I'm done talking here with you. If that's all right with you, I mean... Of course, consent, obviously. <laughs> You're funny. I like you. You know, if I wasn't hired to kill people, I would have put you on my team. But, I guess not. You hear that? That's me playing with the butterfly knife. Not butterfly knife. What, what kind of knife is this? It's the pocket knife. That's what it is. It's a pocket knife. The one my dad used. Thing is really broken. Even better to play with. <laughs> ah, but nonetheless. That's my story. What's your story? I made this all about me. Now it's about you. So tell me, what's your name? It's a pleasure to meet you. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Now look at me for a second. Does it look like I care? <laughs> I don't care about you or anything else. Honestly, I could care less of who you are and what you work with. What I want from myself is pure happiness. And, well, a little bit of money on the way. And plus, this world is made with materialistic things, so why not be happy about it when you have it? Hmm? It makes sense, doesn't it? <laughs> Not if you excuse me. I have some stuff I have to do. You know, get weaponry and whatnot, even though our main source of weaponry was decimated. Don't know how or where when it happened, but our main source of weaponry is uh, Mother Dead. Not my problem, though. <laughs> but here. It's hard to get weapons. Now, I have to get used to the type of weapons they have around here. Re-associate myself. Getting more used to using blades. Now that I see it. I kind of like the change. So, tell me. Do you like the change of, instead of fully automatic rifles and uh, handguns and grenades and whatnot, we go back to olden times and use swords and such. I think I'm going to have a fun time here in Japan. Uh, maybe even become the clown prince of crime here. That sounds fun to me. <laughs> yeah, that sounds fun. All right, I'm gonna go do that now. But before I go, I want to leave you with a little souvenir. Of course. What, what else would I be able to do? 
without doing a little signature of some sort. <laughs> so, how about we put a little smile on that face? <laughs> Maybe later for that one. And just put a little J right in your shoulder. Well, don't squirm. I'm almost done. And then the I'm gonna get crossed. Oh. Are you a type B negative? <laughs> Scarecrow, spray them. We don't need them anymore. We're going to do our own type of bidding here in Japan. Ta-ta! <laughs> <laughs>